All right, it looks like we are live. What is up, everybody? This is Andrew with the Medellin Buzz. And in today's video, we are going to talk about 12 places to listen to rock and roll music in Medellin, whether it's live music or just it's a pub that plays rock. These are my 12 favorite places in all of the city. This is episode number 35, and we are live. Let me uh, turn the music down. There we go. All right. So, yeah, today we are going to be talking about the 12 different places that I like to go to to listen to rock and roll music on this beautiful Sunday. It is March Madness, and we are going to uh, we're going to go over <laughs> uh, these things before I go watch some March Madness. I guess the end of March, well, not the end of March Madness, but the end for the day. What's up, zombie? Hope you're having a good day. Hope you're having a great weekend. Uh, for me, it was a busy day yesterday. I couldn't go live, uh, but today was more of an easy day. We went to Ciclovia during the morning, and then we went to, uh, where do we go? Oh, we went to breakfast this morning. We did Ciclovia, me and my girl. We met up with a couple of friends, came home. Oh, we did some shopping. We had to do some sh shopping, and then we came home, and then we did, uh, and then uh, I just finished some work off, and then came and did the live today so yeah uh so today uh was uh it is the 24th of march it is 502 p.m here in medellin colombia um it was a beautiful day today it was a beautiful day same old same old working on coming down nice zombie hope hope you make it soon hope you make it down here soon all right so i'm gonna go straight into this because i don't want this to be like a super long one, I, it's something that I wanted to do for a long time. A lot of people have asked me, you know, where do I listen to rock and roll music? I mean, I think um, a lot of people have come down here or come down here to escape, you know, uh, a lot of the times the United States or North America, whether it's Canada, the United States, or some people from Europe escaping Europe. Um, I, my situation was a little bit different. I wasn't escaping. I actually was uh, kicked out of the, of, of the United States to Colombia. So I love going to rock bars. I get sick of the salsa. I like salsa. I like merengue. I like reggaeton. I like vallenato. I like cumbia. I like all of that. But I went, when I was 14, I got a guitar. I played in a rock band when I was uh, 17 up until I was like 19 years old. And, um, and it's something that I love to listen to and to uh, I love to go watch live rock music. Uh, I'm not a big heavy, heavy metal guy. I do like some heavy metal, uh, but I'm most just rock, uh, rock and some metal, I would say. Uh, grew up in the 90s, so obviously I love all of the 90s rock, like you know the grunge movement, like Nirvana, uh, Pearl Jam, Stone Temple Pilots, Alice in Chains, uh, et cetera. And then some of the new stuff too, well, Rage Against the Machine, Tool, obviously. Um, and uh, corn and all of that from like the new, I guess they called it new metal, right? Um, I even love Linkin Park, uh, System of a Down, etc. So whenever I get a chance to watch a band play, especially if it's like a cover band of a group that I love, um, I, I I'm all for that. So uh, so I'm gonna go over some of the spots where you can watch it, and I'm gonna go I guess through area first. So the first spot to watch or listen to, um, uh, what do you call it? To listen to rock and roll. The first spot that I like to go to is an old spot, a spot that um, I discovered it was one of the first spots that we would go to or I would go to to listen to rock music live. Usually it was on Wednesdays or Thursdays, and now they have it on the weekends as well. It is called Tres Cordilleras. If you don't know what Tres Cordilleras is, Tres Cordilleras is a brand of beer that is made here in Medellin. It's probably the most famous beer that comes out of Medellin uh, to the whole of uh, of Colombia. That's kind of like a microbrew, or it started out as a microbrew. I think it's bigger now because obviously you could get it at supermarkets, etc. But at the brewery, they have live music, and I'll share my screen here so you guys could see what I'm talking about. This is Tres Cordilleras. Uh, Tres Cordilleras is um, 
what do you call it? Their Instagram. They're obviously a brewery, but they also have live music, as you can see. Look, for example, on let's see what date was this that they put this out. Uh, on the 21st, they had live music, rock americano, parche de rock americano. So it was like a, co a covers of um, of rock from the U the U.S., which is awesome. And the cool thing about this is that you just pay a cover charge. I forget. I don't know what the cover charge is now. But back in the day, it was like 25,000 pesos, and you would get five beers. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's probably more than that, probably more like 40,000 pesos or maybe even 50,000 pesos now to get in. And you get five beers, and you can pick any of their beers that they have on, on tap on there. Usually, it's a selection of four of the beers. My favorite Tres Cordilleras beer is the IPA. So that's the one that I would drink, but I would like to sample all the others. Um, if I were you, if you've never been there and so you can follow them on Instagram, you just go to Tres Cordilleras. Uh, it's Vive Tres Cordilleras with the number three Cordilleras. Cordilleras is mountain ranges, I guess, or mountain range, They're the three mountain ranges, I guess. Um, and that's their logo. It's like a mountain range. And, um, and they constantly have live music and obviously it's really cool because it gets full. The cool thing about rock and roll in Medellin is that whenever you go to that, there's pretty much never any gringos. Any even if it's in El Poblado, for example, Tres Cordilleras is located in near Ciudad del Rio, which is in El Poblado, but the chances of you going there and seeing other gringos are very very low because most of the people that go to this are not gringos, they're locals, they're Colombians that like rock music. Uh, and if a local is going to watch rock music, it usually means that they know some English. So it's a great way to meet people that you can actually talk to if you don't know, if your Spanish is limited and you want to listen to rock and make friends here. Um, I love rocker chicks, so that's what I used to go do. <laughs> um, so that's Tres Cordilleras. Tres Cordilleras is a fun place to, to go uh, drink some beer and watch some live music. Uh, Raul Molen, um, Molero, what high school did you go to? I went to uh, San Juan Capistrano High School, Capo Valley, um, in uh, the border of Mission Viejo and San Juan Capistrano in Southern California. Okay, so that's Tres Cordilleras. The number two spot that I like to go to, uh, these are no in no particular order. I'm just going by area. So right now we're going through the ones that are in El Poblado. Tres Cordilleras is in El Poblado, Ciudad del Rio. And the next one is 20 Mission. 20 Mission is an awesome bar. It's not a bar. It's a. It's also a brewery. They brew their own beers, but they also have a great restaurant inside the brewery. And it's a, it's a giant place. And it's a really great venue to watch music. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. Let me go to 20 Mission and I'll share my screen. Why? There we go. Okay, share screen. So this is 20 Mission right here. 20 Mission is located very near to Tres Cordilleras. So it's actually, if you get bored at Tres Cordilleras, you could go to 20 Mission or vice versa because they're basically a few blocks away from each other. So they always have live music. And let's see if there's a good picture of the venue. Yeah, this is actually a pretty good picture of the venue. It's a, it looks smaller in this picture, but it's pretty big area. And back there is the stage where they have music. They always have live music every weekend, as you can see. This is the uh, f a shot from the stage looking out to the restaurant. And um, here they have on their Instagram, they have, uh, it looks like, let's see, this weekend... Starting on Wednesday, there's a tribute to Shakira. That's not rock, but <laughs> they have live music. And then I don't know, uh, on on Thursday and Friday, they say that they have two events called Holly Beer. But I think they misspelled holy because we're in Holy Week right now. So I think they wanted to say Holy Beer instead of Holly Beer. And then they have on Saturday, the 30th, Rock in Espanol, which is, uh, which is cool. Oh, here, you can't see what I'm looking at. Let me move myself here. Yeah, so they put... On Thursday and on Friday, they put holly beer, but I think it means holy beer. And then on Saturday, they've got rock and espanol. Uh, this is actually one of my favorite venues when there are good bands there. The thing is that, a lot, um, look at this, they had me Metal Mania, a, 
a tribute to a, a, a tribute. It looks like a tribute band for Metallica. I missed that. Yeah, all Metallica covers. Man, I wish I would have seen that. That was earlier this month. So as you can see, they have a lot of uh, a lot of like rock music, but it's just live music as well. So uh, like like you saw, they have a Shakira tribute next week. Um, but a lot of the times, it is rock music. This was for St. Patrick's Day. They had the green beer and the Jameson bottle. That's trouble. Um, so that's 20 Mission, one of my favorite spots. Let me see if there's a better picture so you could see Mission in Medellin. There's got to be images of people that have taken. Oh, yeah, look at this. 20 Mission. Yes, I am. Oh, this is their website. Let's see, can I open the image in a new tab? Oh, but it's not, it's too blurry, I see. I see, well, I think you get the gist. Um, it's a pretty big spot. And, um, oh yeah, this is a better picture right here. As you can see, it's uh, there's the uh, venue right there. Look how cool that looks, man. And then everybody's sitting there drinking beers or whatever. It's a beer brewery, so it's mostly beers. But they do have like a, a full bar with like cocktails and stuff. But it's definitely a fun place to go to with friends. I, I've seen one of, I've seen two really good cover bands there. I know, I didn't see the Metallica one. That looks cool. But um, I saw a Alice in Chains cover band that were really good. They sounded just like Alice in Chains. And then I also saw a Radiohead tribute band there, which blew me... Uh, away I, they were so good and everybody in the building was singing along to every song there's a lot of radiohead fans in medellin people that don't even speak english but know all of the lyrics which also baffled me which was awesome so that's that um okay the next one we've got the next bar is also in el poblado near near 20 mission and tres cordilleras but it's actually a bar it's a bar slash restaurant slash live show. It's called Trilogia, Trilogia Bar. They have a rotating, they have a rotating, um, what do you call it? A rotating stage, which is cool. And, uh, and the, the crowd sits around them kind of like in a 360 amphitheater and the, and the thing rotates. This thing rotates. It's not rotating there, but the whole stage will rotate either slowly or at some time. It was pretty cool. But yeah, this is a, a rock slash, um, it's like a rock show that they do. As you can see, everyone's sitting 360 around the, the band and the band does usually rock covers in Spanish and in English. Sometimes they'll even do salsa, for example, like Juan, Li, uh, Juan Luis Guerra. Um, so the, the, it's not only rock, but when they do rock, it's really cool. As you can see, Trilogia is awesome. There's a cover charge. It's usually about 50,000 pesos to get in. Um, oh, yeah, there it is. Cover charge. So they did pop pop songs of the 2000s uh, earlier this month. What was it? Oh, no, they're going to do it on the 11th of April. This would be a good date spot, I think, if you had a girlfriend that liked 2000 pop, <laughs> like Britney Spears, Christina Aguilera. Um, what else? Like, I don't see any other images that I recall there from 20s, uh, 2000s pop, but that's 50,000 to get in, which is pretty cool. It's, uh, um, Trilogia. Let's see, dude, what's their story? Oh, that was a live, that was live from probably this weekend. Yeah, it looks cool. It is fun. I've been there a couple times. So that's Trilogia. The next spot on the list is also in, um, in, El Poblado, which is spot number four. It's called, and it's my personal favorite. It's called Club Blue. Or not Club Blue, Blue Rock. Blue Rock right here. Blue Rock is near Parque Lleras, and it's a rock and roll bar. And they always have live music, as you can see. Today they have, uh, today they have Rockers Night. I don't know what that means, but I'm going to go because it's Sunday. And tomorrow is, I mean, this whole week is a holiday for Colombia. So there's going to be live events and stuff happening around the city. It's called Holy Week. So a lot of people go out of town to Fincas, um, 
technically they should all if they're if you're a good catholic you should be going to church or something right i don't know what you're supposed to be doing but um but we know that that's a farce in medellin um and um they just take it as an excuse to not work and party and drink and hang out with the family which is cool um i'm gonna take it as an excuse to go tonight to rockers night at club blue which is very close it's like 10 minute walking distance uh this is rockers night i guess right here domingo marzo 24 which is tonight oh is that is that pod yeah they're gonna they do covers of pod i guess it's uh that, that's great okay so i'm definitely gonna go now oh it's only twenty thousand cover yeah i'll be going to that tonight ladies no cover until 10 oh my gosh all right i'm definitely gonna go to that i'm gonna watch some of the march madness tonight and then i'm gonna go to this yeah, so this is Club Blue. Club Blue is right next to Parque Lleras on Calle 10. And usually there's no cover um, as, uh, unless if it's like a Saturday, which is pretty cool. But um, but I'll be going to that. And that's in Parque Lleras, Blue Rock. The next one. Okay, so now we're out of El Poblado. So now let's go to other places in the city that are not in El Poblado. I'm going to go to Envigado first, which is not in the city. It's adjacent to the city. Um, this, but it's the only one in Envigado and Envigado, you can go to Barrio Sur, Barrio Sur. This is Barrio Sur right here. Whoops. Move that. Trying to make myself a little smaller. There we go. Barrio Sur is a bar owned by an English guy and they usually have live music and events, even like for example, they had a live music jam session where if you play an instrument, you could get up on stage. They have instruments there for you, and everybody could play. It's kind of like an open mic. And then they actually have bands that are pretty good. I've been there a couple times for, for bands. Uh, most of the time, I go there for uh, Sunday morning to watch Liverpool play somebody because they're a Liverpool b a bar, but they do have nights of rock and roll, as you can see. Um, they, they have rock live rock music. And they have pretty good beer on tap, um, actually really good beer on tap, and uh, some micro brews that they sell as well. It's like an English pub, basically. That's what it, uh, it kind of emulates that, like an English pub, and um, and it's really cool. This is called Barrio Sur. Shout out to Craig, the owner of Barrio Sur. Let's see, this was their uh, live jam band session every thursday night so every thursday night they have like a a band uh a jam session that's pretty cool the next time i go there it's probably going to be in a couple of saturday and a couple of sundays to watch liverpool play manchester uh, well yeah manchester united again so that's in envigado barrio sur there's no cover charge for these usually uh so you could definitely check that out if you're in envigado okay the next one is uh, okay, so we're out of Envigado. So the next one is in the hood. <laughs> the next one is one of my favorites from a uh, more lower income neighborhood, but very cool neighborhood called Aranjuez. Aranjuez has this, uh, this place called Cool Music. Cool Music Rock and Roll. And they have live music all of the time. Looks like this weekend. Dang, why can't I? Here we go. This weekend they had, it keeps bouncing me up. Yeah, it's not working. But anyway, uh, yeah, cool music. This is them right here. They have a really good bar. They have some food, but it's just a cool bar in Parque de Aranjuez, um, right next to Manrique. So it's it, it's definitely very local. You won't if you find a gringo in there, you'll be lucky. They'd be very lucky. As you can see, they have live music a lot. They have it, it, It's a really cool vibe in there as well. It's called Cool Bar or Cool Music. <laughs> so, yeah, that's cool music in Aranjuez. Definitely recommend that. I've been there a couple times. Okay, so that's in Aranjuez, which is like in the hood by Manrique. The next bar is called Dopamina. Dopamina Rock Bar in Floresta. Dopamina Rock Bar in Floresta right here. This is in Floresta, which is adjacent to uh, adjacent to to Laureles. Can you stick there? All right, it's not going to stick. 
Uh, Dopamina Rock Bar in Laureles. These guys have um, live music all of the time. As you can see here, they uh, they have a, a live uh, a stage. They have beer. It's definitely way local. Again, both Dopamina and Cool Music, nowhere near Yeras. And um, so you're not going to find any gringos here. I mean, literally, if you just step out of Parque Yeras, just five or ten minutes northeast, west, or south, you're going to be amongst locals, even if you're in El Poblado. But this is all the way in La, Flo in La Floresta. I used to live in this neighborhood. That's how I found out about it. I used to walk over here. This is the bar right here. Listen to rock when they didn't have uh, live bands, but when they have live bands, it's really cool. Looks like their next, uh, what is this, gratis? I don't know what that is, but it looks like a commercial for something. Anyway, so that's Dopamina in La Floresta. The next bar is called... Uh, okay, let's stay, let's stay in Laureles. Okay, so the next bar is on La 33. It's a really cool bar. It's called um, it's called Pub Rock 33. It's on the 33rd uh, on La 33, which is uh, a very popular street out here. And tonight they have a tribute to Queen, Guns N' Roses, and Metallica, which is actually pretty crazy lineup. And Aerosmith. Dang, I might have to go to that instead of going to Club Blue. But, but I mean, Rock Blue Rock is like a 10-minute walk. This would be at least... A 15-minute cab ride or Uber Uber ride. But tonight they have a tribute to Queen, Metallica, Guns N' Roses, and Aerosmith with a 15,000 peso cover, band, cover uh, at the front. And this is what their shows look like right here, which seems awesome. I actually haven't been to this one. This Pub Rock used to be in Yeras, but they moved to La 33. It looks very cool. Man, I might have to go to that. Yeah, and they have food. I remember that. And Yeras, they had food also. This is what their venue looks like. Dang. I wonder if people are going to go to this. See, the thing is about Blue Rock, since it's in Yeras, locals go there. It's always pretty much full. There's always people there because it's a destination where people go. Like Terenta y Tres on a Sunday is not a big destination for people. But this looks really cool. Pub Rock. Man, I might have to go, to be honest, because it's a tribute to Queen, Metallica, Guns N' Roses, and Aerosmith, all bands w of which I like, um, which is, that, se that seems amazing. Um, Omer, uh, Omer, what's up, Omer? Tariq says, any suggestions for good cumbia, salsa, traditional music, bars? Um, Son Havana, Son Havana for salsa. Son Havana for salsa, but they're 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 not bars. I mean, they're bars. They're Colombian bars. Son Havana and El Social are both great places for salsa. Uh, for cumbia, I mean, there's not like a there's no one place that just plays cumbia because we're in Medellin. They they like salsa. There are some places that just do vallenato, like downtown, like old guys stuff. Like, <laughs> um, but usually you could go to clubs or bars that do crossover music. But, yeah, there's no bar culture. Or, I mean, the, the bar culture in Medellin is way different than the bar culture in the United States. Where people, if they go, if they're going to go listen to salsa, they don't just go listen. They go dance. That's like, so you're basically going to a dance club. Okay, so the next one on the list, that was La 33, the pub rock La 33. The next one is also in La Laureles, which is called Valhalla. Valhalla is a small bar. This is actually just a bar. They do have rock. They do have live music sometimes, but mostly it's just a bar. This is in Laureles. This is called Valhalla. Let's see. Is there any? Uh, yeah, this one. It's a video of their venue. It's very small. It's very like look how small that is. That's so tiny. But that must be so fun. I haven't been there. Um, I've heard of it, but I haven't been there. It seems really cool. Yeah, it seems awesome. This is it's basically outdoors with a little part of it indoors. So it looks like the stage and stuff is indoors and then everybody else is outdoors outside. So Alhala, yeah, this is a seems like a really cool spot. I haven't been there. 
that's their venue right there. So yeah, it looks like it's a very small. Oh, this is a tent. So they're under a tent. <laughs> oh, that was at Oktoberfest. Okay. There is an Oktoberfest here in Colombia, by the way. They do celebrate Oktoberfest. It's basically just an excuse to drink beer. Okay, so the next ones are going to be in downtown Medellin. Some, uh, when I lived there for a year and a half, these were the bars that I would go to, and they still exist. I'll start with my one of my favorites. They don't do any live music there, but they have pizza and heavy metal. This is a heavy metal bar. It's called Rock Symphony, one of the best. Uh, this, this has been around for almost 30 years now. Rock Symphony in downtown Medellin, in Las Torres de Bombona. Um, and it's a very cool place because they've got They've got um, drinks and they've got heavy metal and they've got pizza. Believe it or not, they have like a, a brick oven in there. I don't know if it's a brick oven actually, but they do have an, a, a giant oven and it gets kind of hot in there. But I think it's part of the whole thing. This was the, one of the only places in town that would have Guinness back when Guinness was still being uh, exported to Colombia. But now Colombia doesn't get Guinness from Ireland anymore. So we don't have Guinness here anymore, but this is basically, this is the bar right here. This is the bar, and um, it's really cool. As you can see, all locals, there's definitely no gringos here. There's the pizza. The pizza is actually not bad. It's not bad at all. But yeah, it's, it's definitely, this is like a, a heavy metal, usually heavy metal type bar. Um, 80s rock that, like for some reason, Colombians love 80s rock. So that's Rock Symphony downtown. Another one downtown is La House. This one right here. La House, but with a J. They spelt it like the Colombian way. La House in downtown Medellin. Also a cool little bar. And they do actually have live music here. Um, but it's a tiny space as well. And it's really close to the other one. So you can definitely go to both. In downtown Medellin, obviously, for the more adventurous uh any rocker in Medellin will let, will tell you that these two are pretty famous in uh, in Medellin. Okay, so that's uh that's downtown and then finally the last thing and and that's it basically for rock bars. I mean there are a few other rock bars out there in in Medellin, but these are like the most famous ones. The other great venue to watch rock music here in Medellin is La Toma Cervecera. There's a, there's a beer festival every year, and um, they have bands that play at the beer festival. Uh, it's one of my favorite things to go to every year. It already passed this year. It was, uh, um, it was in February here. Uh, but, for example, they had System of a Down cover band there, which was awesome. And so they have this every year, and they have about 150 different beers um, you know, with everyone has their own little kiosk and you can go around tasting and obviously eating everything there. And it's one of my favorite events in all of the city. It's called La Toma Cervecera and it happens every year, different times, uh, a year. So you just have to check their website, which is really cool. Uh, Glendy, you were just asking your friend about rock, uh, about rock, uh, recommendations. <laughs> this, uh, this week, yeah. So, for example, tonight there are two really good things going on. I'll, I'll recap the things that are happening tonight. If you are looking for rock and roll music tonight, if you want to do... I usually drink whiskey when I drink, listen to rock. Or when I drink whiskey, I listen to rock. I don't know. Whichever comes first. <laughs> so, tonight there are two things happening. If you are in El Poblado, you can go to uh, Blue Rock. And Blue Rock is going to have... Uh, live rock music tonight and it's usually rock in English some rock in Spanish uh, but it's right near Parque Lleras and it's called Blue Rock you could just uh, follow them it's called Blue Medellin on, on Instagram and then the other really good one which I'm very very much interested in I might have to go This is the reason why I go to this one is because it's like 10 minute walk from my house this one is in Laureles, which is farther. So if I lived in Laureles, I would be going to Pub Rock tonight. Because Pub Rock tonight has cover bands, uh, a cover band doing Queen, Metallica, Guns N' Roses, and Aerosmith for 15,000 pesos. Cover charge. That sounds amazing. I'm going to like that. I don't know how many people are going to go on a Sunday, on Holy Week Sunday. 
Uh, and and the reason they're doing this on Sunday is because more people are going to be going out tonight than usual because tomorrow's a holiday for everyone. Usually people don't go to work tomorrow. So it's a four-day weekend. Some people don't go to work all week. I think schools are out all week as well. So you might see a lot more people out tonight than a usual Sunday. But uh, but I might go to this. I don't know. I got to ask my, my girl is here. I'm going to ask my girl what she wants to do. Uh, she might just want to go eat and not go to any of this stuff, but I will. Go. I I go by myself. <laughs> that's how that's how much I love rock music is that I go to these things myself. So I'd highly recommend them. Uh, it's something fun. It's something way different to do than than the normal stuff that you do here in Medellin. And when you do this, you are going to find that you're going to make friends with locals that might speak English because they're listening to music in English, and um, and you're not going to find many gringos at these spots either even blue rock whenever i go to blue rock it's all colombians and it's very rarely any gringos and it's right there in parquelleras which is very interesting which is really cool for me because i get to uh meet new people as you can see look at all these people that these are the people that go there these are all locals there's now hardly ever any gringos in there it's very rare to see gringos in there it's usually like a gringo because he has a a, a Colombian girlfriend that dr dragged them to go do that uh, or, or whatever. This is, uh, yeah, as you can see, these are all locals. So I'm very much looking forward to going to either this one or Pub Rock tonight. I didn't do anything last night. I just stayed in uh, because we woke up early today to go uh, to Ciclovia. This is their venue, which is cool. Blue Rock. They're really good, too. That's the house band. They're so good. The guitarist is gnarly, man. He's so good. So, yeah, I highly recommend that. Yeah, so those are the 12 places that you can watch rock and roll music in Medellin. I will be back next Sunday, or not next Sunday. I will be back next Saturday. Um, my next video coming up is an awesome video that is more of like a day in the life. I videoed myself a whole day in Barrio Manila, so you guys can check out my neighborhood, what I do with my life here basically every day. And because it was it was on a Friday, so it was a little bit less uh, work and more just going around the, the city. But it's basically what I do every Friday uh, here in my neighborhood. And um, hope look out for that. It's going to be up this week. And I will see you guys next time. Hope you